This is the most unique circuit in all of Major League Stock Car Racing. A twisting, nine-turn, 2.6-mile road race course with more right than left-hand turns. Riverside International Raceway was a regular stop on the NASCAR circuit from 1963 to 1988. Much like Boris said, or Ron Fellows, Dan Gurney was the road course ringer of his time. He won five out of the first seven races at Riverside and is tied with Petty, Waltrip, and Allison with most wins. Tim Richmond scored his first career win on the road course in 1982. And in 1983, both Ricky Rudd and Bill Elliott scored their first ever cup wins at Riverside. But Rusty Wallace would take the honors as the last driver to win at Riverside in June of 1988. Real estate development put a premium price on the land and it spelled the end to the historic road course. It was bulldozed in 1988 and became a shopping mall by 1992. Back to Cali. I don't think so. Just about 15 miles from Riverside is Ontario. And in 1971, the facility known as the Indy of the West, Ontario Speedway, hosted its first NASCAR race. 70,000 fans attended the event. But unfortunately, through the years, the track's attendance diminished more and more. By 1980, only about 15,000 fans showed up to watch Benny Parsons win the race and Dale Earnhardt capture his first championship title. Sadly, it would be the last time they raced at Ontario. In 1980, it was sold to Chevron and eventually torn down. The track was a victim of overestimating the popularity of racing in certain markets. And when the California Speedway was built, it was considered a state-of-the-art facility constructed by Roger Penske. And if you were watching Trade and Paint earlier today on Speed, we brought up the subject of the competition in this market. It's the second largest media market in the country, and the competition level is amazing. You had a USC game last night. You got musical concerts all over the place. Uh, Disneyland, the list just goes on. It's just tough competition. It's not necessarily anything that the folks at this Speedway are doing wrong. Well, I think they are doing stuff wrong, Johnny. I, I don't think they're targeting the race fan. I think they're targeting, you know, the, the market in L.A. That's fine, but that L.A. crowd isn't the... There's millions of people within a few hundred miles of here. I, I was walking uh, around the, uh, the mall yesterday and stuff. No signs, nothing to do about this racetrack. So I think they need to market the racetrack to the average race fan. The fans, some of them don't even know there's a racetrack here. So just work in your little area right here. Forget L.A. Well, the problem I have is not so much with the racetrack, but remember about, you know, five years ago, everybody had this new fantastic idea that we're going to build Chicago, Kansas City, you know, this track right here in California. And what's up with this mile, mile and a half stuff? Watch. It's so boring. Spence, that's what's wrong. The racing is boring. What they need to do, remember, this is the home of the X Games. This is the home of the sunglasses, the black hat. Look you at me. You need excitement is yeah. what you're saying. What they need to do is they need to build a racetrack right here, like Bristol or Richmond. These people out here, yeah, look at this or that. It will work. This, this stuff that they all started, I even asked them, I said, why are all you guys building mile and a half tracks? Oh, because we need the land and we need for the people. I'm like, then why are they fitting 150,000 people at Bristol? 160. It's, yeah, little bitty half mile. Hey, what? guys, so now let me ask you this. So we need action, baby, action. Say it, okay, what happens? We come in here with a bulldozer, bulldoze it down, and, and build a three-quarter mile high-back racetrack. Yeah, well, what that. happens after that? Does that guarantee the fans come? Oh, I, I think it, it will be. If you build a Richmond or a Bristol here, I think Roger Pesky messed up one of his few mistakes he ever made by building this two-mile gigantic massive facility trying to cater to the indy cars I, I think the indy cars are history if the indy car teams don't get together man it's over and i think that's what they built this track for they didn't re not really build this track for the nascar next Hell cup series if i was them i would definitely think about bringing this in doing something in this racetrack kenny you're right get some yep. excitement but back into the race that's money and, guys and, that's and, big money and, and, well and you know what you, you you saw what happened in ontario you saw what happened in riverside yep. we can't afford to have this place we can't lose this market we cannot lose southern california and, and for all you people across the united states you need to get on uh, on speedtv.com because here's the debate 
They closed Riverside down, they closed Ontario down, and two miles away, we built another racetrack. We gotta make this work, right, race fans? Yes, sir. Hold oh, on. The race fans here with Hold us, Dave. And the reason there's a debate is because there's only 40,000 people to 70,000 in these grandstands. We need more people. I think the fans out here agree with you, Kenny. They're having a great time out here today.